As we approach Memorial Day, a holiday set aside to honor those who died serving our nation, an alarming story coming out of Northport. A caregiver is charged with trying to kill a World War II veteran. SNN's Lyndon Blake joins us in the newsroom with the details. Lyndon. A Northport woman is charged with two felonies. Police say she tried to beat this hero with an oxygen tank until he lost consciousness. He survived World War II. Now 91-year-old Michael Tristano survived what Northport police say was a brutal attack at the hands of 45-year-old Elena Erickson. They say Tristano was struck at least five times in the head with a metal oxygen tank at his home on White Ibis Drive. Northport police spokesperson Joshua Taylor says Tristano asked Erickson to call 911, but she refused. She hit him again. Uh, you know, this, this happened uh, again and again, and at one point he apparently passed completely out. According to police records, Erickson struck him while sitting at the dining room table and she knocked him to the floor. Tristano says he and Erickson were arguing because he wouldn't give her a blank check for her service. They did have some money ties. Uh, she was obviously being paid by him to be her caregiver. He had helped her with rent here and there at different times. Taylor says Erickson's original story was Tristano fell. But a Venice Hospital ER nurse called police after Tristano's injuries weren't consistent with the fall. It's kind of hard to get five different injuries to the top of your head by a single fall. Erickson is charged with attempted murder and tampering with evidence. Taylor says she cleaned up parts of the bloody scene. He, there are elevated charges, uh, so she could receive up to life in jail for this. AMVETS Commander Ron Larravee says this soldier in Tristano helped save his life. Training is there. Uh, you, you, it automatically kicks in. Taylor says Erickson's blows to Tristano's head were enough to kill anyone. Tristano is continuing his recovery at home. Clearly, he was probably shocked that all this was happening, uh, but I think that she probably had a shock too when she showed back up there in the morning and he was still alive. Erickson is still in custody at a Sarasota County Jail. Her bond is set at $300,000. Lyndon, have you heard any more reaction from other vets around here about this case? Yes, Grant, a worker at AmVets told me she's reaching out to Tristano and his family. Well, that's certainly good news. SNN's Lyndon Blake reporting tonight. Lyndon, thanks.